pagbagong saing na ako magdidikit-dikit yan. Gusto natin yung kaning lamig. So, just mix every... Ay! <laughs> Nakakaloka si Chef ang kalat. Sorry about that. Always look for the sticker. Easy to do dinner recipe. Using, of course, high-quality U.S. pork, grain fed to perfection. Hello mga ka -chefies. Thank you again for joining me for another episode of U.S. Pork, It's the Best Season 2. Nako, September na. Burr months na. At pag sinabi natin burr months dito sa Pilipinas, alam nyo naman, di ba? Nagsistart na yung mga Christmas carols, meron ng mga taong naglalagay ng mga Christmas decors, even Christmas trees sa kanilang mga bahay. Officially, nag-start na ang Christmas season dito sa Pilipinas. So we really have a lot of things to look forward to in the next couple of months despite our current situation. And one of the best ways that has enabled us to find some semblance of normalcy despite our unique situation is by eating good food. I'm sure you all agree with me on that. Kaya naman for today, dito sa episode ko, I'll be sharing not just one, I'll be sharing two recipes for you today, perfect for an office or school baon using of course, High quality ingredients like U.S. pork, grain fed to perfection. So, hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Ayusin ko lang yung mga ingredients ko at babalikan ko na kayo. Ayan mga ka-chefies, naka-apron na ako. Ready na rin na aking mga ingredients. Like what I said earlier, I'll be sharing with you two recipes today. So, for the first recipe, this is perfect for people who are working. Siyempre, medyo nag ease up na rin ang restrictions ngayon. Meron nang bumabalik at nagtatrabaho sa office. Pero perfect pa rin to dun sa mga tao who are working from home. This recipe is very delicious and easy to make. So, for my first recipe, I'll be sharing with you my U.S. Pork Lunch and Meat Kimchi Fried Rice. For this recipe, gagamit ako ng U.S. pork canned luncheon meat like Spam. So first thing that we need to do is just take this out of the can. Easy open can siya. There you go. I need about half of this lang. So I'll just slice this into cubes. And of course, when you use U.S. pork products, even with a luncheon meat, you are guaranteed of the product's wholesomeness. The U.S. has a stringent inspection system and health programs. And of course, I aside from frozen pork, luncheon meat, U.S. pork products have a variety of products. Kasama na dyan yung ating bacon and sausages. Actually, nakagawa na rin yan ako dito sa aking channel. So, mag-browse rin kayo when you have time. So, this is sliced. Pwede na natin siya ngayong lutuin. Punta na tayo dun sa ating lutuan. Let's buksan na natin ang ating apoy at maglagay na tayo ng oil dito sa ating pan. So, I'm using a wok kasi nga this is U.S. pork luncheon meat kimchi fried rice. Para maganda yung paglulutuan natin ang ating fried rice. So, just put some oil. We'll just wait for this to heat up. And then, we'll be frying our U.S. pork luncheon meat. Quick and easy to cook U.S. pork products have always been available in leading supermarkets here in the Philippines. So, puta na kayo. We'll be flashing on the screen naman yung mga supermarkets where you could purchase these products para naman makabili na rin kayo. Okay, this is hot. Let us just fry our luncheon meat. So, there you go. Slowly lang. Lagyan na natin sa pan. And let's start frying it. We could just let that be first, tapos lutuin natin yung kabilang side niya. And if you're looking for larger cuts of U.S. pork, feel free to message U.S. Meats Philippines on Facebook. Sa mga ka-chefies ko na nanonood, alam ko naman that you are supporting my channel, supportin natin ang U.S. Meats Philippines. So like and share their page para ma-update kayo sa mga latest promos rin nila. Okay, medyo naluto na yung kabilang side. All we have to do is turn it to the other side. Para yung kabilang side naman yung mag-crisp up. Okay, so this is good. What I'm gonna do next is just take it off our wok. At lagay lang natin ulit siya dito sa plate. Okay, let's continue cooking our kimchi fried rice naman. So we have your kimchi. You can buy this from Korean grocery stores. So sa mga supermarkets, usually they also have an Asian aisle. 
Pwede din kayong doon bumili. So, let's just place it here sa ating wok. So, this has been chopped into bite-sized pieces. Medyo maanghang-anghang siya na maasim at the same time. Dito sa bahay namin, actually, ang mahilig dito sa kimchi at mga Korean food ay walang iba kundi ang aking anak na si Ina. Si attorney Ina Cabanos. Ayan, mahilig siya dito. And then, let's add our gochujang. So, this is again a Korean ingredient na mabibili sa mga Asian stores, Korean stores. So, you can imagine medyo maanghang talaga ang dish na ito along with some pepper flakes. So, bagay ito dun sa mga pag-lunch break, yung medyo inaantok-antok ka na ay nako, for sure magigising ka sa lasa nito. So, let's just break it down. There, like so, para naman hindi dikit-dikit yung ating gochujang at madali natin siyang may incorporate with the rest of the ingredients later. Kung hindi naman kayo ganun ka-adventurous when it comes to spicy food, you could always take out the gochujang or the chili flakes. Adjust nyo na lang yan to your own liking. Of course, I'll be putting the recipe dun sa ating description box para matry nyo tong lutuin. Okay, this is good. Now, we add in our day-old rice. Ayan, syempre, di ba? Alam nyo na yan kung nanonood kayo ng aking channel. Pag kayo ay magluluto ng fried rice, always use day-old rice. Di ba? Yung kaning lamig. Huwag yung bagong saing. Kasi pag bagong saing, ako magdidikit-dikit yan. Gusto natin yung kaning lamig. So, pag nagka-fried rice, ayan, mas maganda gumagamit kayo ng dalawang wooden spoon tapos break it down like so. Pag na-mix na natin na maayos yung ating ingredients, we now in the next one, which is our kimchi juice. So, ito yung kasama na to when you buy the kimchi. Parang it's soaked kasi in marinade. So, that is what you will add. Para mas maging malasa siya. Okay, so let's add that there. And to make or to add a nutty flavor and aroma to our dish, we will be adding some sesame oil. Ang bango ko na amin nyo lang dito, mga ka-chefies, na kung may ingan nyo, kayong lutuin to. So, try nyo na. Para naman, kakaiba yung inyong kainin as baon. Kahit na work from home pa kayo, di ba? And to balance everything off, kasi nga, medyo maanghang to. Medyo maanghang. I'm sure medyo maanghang to. Lalagyan natin siya ngayon ng sugar. So, let's just sprinkle some sugar. Ayan, medyo tumigas na yung sugar natin. Ayan. Diyan muna. Tapos mix natin. Magsa second layer ako. Just to make sure na ma-well incorporate natin ang ating sugar. I'll do it in two batches. Okay? And then, this one. Oh, mm, it's all coming together. Mmm. Perfect. Nagahalo or naglalaban yung lasa ng anghang, ng medyo alat, asim, at tamis. Siyempre, huwag natin kalimutan. Ilalagay natin ngayon ang ating U.S. pork luncheon meat. Pero magtitira ako for plating mamaya. So, yan muna. Ayan, halo natin. Wow! Siyempre yung ating spam, medyo may alat din yan. Masarap. ba? So, bagay na bagay sa dito. This is done. Papakita ko sa inyo how I'll plate it later. For now, punta na tayo sa ating second recipe. Okay, for my next baon recipe, this is perfect for our kids. Kasi nga, all of them are doing online learning, hindi ba? Lahat nasa bahay lang. Pero syempre, mas maganda pa rin that we prepare something special that they can look forward to during recess. Lalo na ngayon, di ba? They are encouraged to stay online, to converse with their classmates during research. So maganda tong recipe na to. This may sound fancy, but believe me, it's very, very easy to make. This is my U.S. pork luncheon meat. Hawaiian sandwich. Okay, so for this recipe, gagamit na naman ako ng isa pang brand ng U.S. pork luncheon meat, which is Prime. And like what I mentioned earlier, with U.S. pork, you are guaranteed of the product's wholesomeness. 
For American farmers, keeping pigs healthy is important for protecting food safety, public health, and animal well-being. And again, U.S. pork items have always been available in leading supermarkets here in the Philippines. So, first thing that I need to do, of course, let's open up the can. Just like spam, easy to open din to. Okay, so let me just take that out. So, I just need to slice this into mga half-inch thickness. There. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is, okay, let's set this aside. Let's place this here first. Okay, let me just wipe my chopping board clean. And then I will be doing the breading method, or what I call the FEB. When I say FEB, it's just flour, all-purpose flour. E stands for egg, and B stands for the breadcrumbs. So... Kuha na tayo dito. So, masarap na to on its own. Pero para lang mas exciting, mayroong madadagdag na crunch sa ating luncheon meat, ibibread lang natin siya. So, let's place our all-purpose flour here and our breadcrumbs here. And piece of egg dito sa ating bowl. Always make sure that you have one wet hand and one dry hand. Hindi pwedeng ito yung ginagamit nyo dun sa dry ingredients. Ito rin gagamitin nyo sa wet ingredients kasi magulo siya. So, let me just explain it to you further by showing it to you. So, ito yung ating luncheon meat. Let us just dredge all the parts with all-purpose flour. So, hindi na natin kailangan pa ng lagyan ng salt and pepper yung ating mga flour and breadcrumbs kasi... On its own, malasa na yung ating prime luncheon meat. Okay, sambre yung ating egg. Bago ko siya gamitin, eh, let's give it a quick stir. There you go. So, dry hand here, wet hand here on this side. So, make sure lang na makot natin siyang mabuti. There you go. And using your still wet hand, you now transfer it to the breadcrumbs. And then you use your dry hand again to finish coating our luncheon meat with the breadcrumbs. So, gagawin ko lang din yan with the rest of the ingredients. So, well-coated na ang ating U.S. pork luncheon meat. Let me just wipe my hands at magluluto na tayo. Okay, so we already have here a pan with some hot oil ready. All we need to do is just fry our U.S. pork luncheon meat. Like so. So, dahan-dahan lang. There. So, we'll just wait for this to crisp up at syempre mag-brown ang kanyang kulay and then we will flip it to the other side. Diba? Para lang mas exciting rin for your kids. Parang hindi lang siya basta, alam naman natin masarap na nga on its own. Pero just to make it more exciting kasi may crunch rin silang makakagat when they bite into the sandwich. And like what I said kanina nga, diba? Maraming variety of ready-to-cook U.S. pork products available in leading supermarkets. Bukod sa frozen pork, bukod sa luncheon meat, there's also some sausages and bacon. So, yan. Meron ako mga recipes na ginawa for those products. Feel free to browse through my YouTube channel to watch. Okay. So, it's, this is good already. Ayan. Ang bilis lang, oh. You can now turn it to the other side. So, parang on hot oil, parang around one, one minute lang siya. And of course, we have here a plate with some paper towels. Dito natin ilalagay pag tapos ng maluto to drain off the excess oil. Ganda na ng kulay. We can now turn this off. We don't want to burn it. So, let's just drain it 
into our paper towel lined plates there. So at this point, babalik na ako dun sa counter para naman assemble ko na yung ating US pork lunch and meat Hawaiian sandwich. Ako mga ka-chefy, syempre ito na aking favorite part, ang tikiman time. Subukan ko muna ang aking US Pork Luncheon Meat Kimchi Fried Rice. Syempre kailangan kong tikman to, nang merong luncheon meat, tikim lang. Mmm! Sarap! So good! Syempre kailangan din tikman ang aking US Pork Luncheon Meat Hawaiian Sandwich. Mmm! Mmm! Perfect! Bitin din ang tikim-tikim nito. <laughs> Napakasarap mga ka -chefies. You should try this at home. And of course, when you recreate this dish, make sure that you use U.S. pork products. Of course, grain-fed to perfection. And of course, itong dish na to talaga will give you that office and school feels even if you're just at home. Ayan, try nyo ito mga ka -chefies. And don't forget to tag me. Take a photo pag natry nyo. Take a photo naman. Tag me on my social media account. Sa aking um, Instagram, sa aking Facebook. Chef Mom Rosebud Benitez. Again, thank you so much for joining me, mga chefies. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Sana naman ay talagang subukan nyo itong lutuin para sa inyong sarili or sa inyong mahal sa buhay, sa mga anak ninyo, sa asawa ninyo. This is really good. Don't forget to like and to share at mag-comment pa rin kayo kung ano pang gusto nyo mapanood sa mga susunod kong episodes. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. Thank you mga ka -chef. See you again sa next episode ng US Pork. It's the best. Bye! So, paano ba yan? Kaya na muna ako. Ang sarap. Hmm? Tapos yung pala